Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for a brand new series on the channel. We are playing the 1.12.2 pack, which is a sequel to the 1.7.10 pack, which is one of the most popular series on my channel, even though it's only got two episodes because we lost the world. But this series, hopefully, will live a lot longer than that one. But yeah, we have just spawned in in this lovely area. This mod pack's looking really, really good. And there is a village over there, so that is the first thing I'm going to want to explore. But I don't actually know what mods are in here. But it's looking like we have a, a lot of pages of stuff to be doing. But yeah, there's these big boulders. And what's weird is there wasn't like a world type generator you could choose so you couldn't choose to, to be normal super flat biomes of plenty or anything you just spawn into this world and you can't choose what you do with it which was interesting but yeah we got a village which i must say is looking very very nice and in these first few episodes you're gonna have to bear with a little bit of frame rate whilst we load the world in for the first time but hopefully that will sort itself out if not i'll tinker with the uh, different things but it's looking like grass path we've got palm path block we got villager nothing in here I'm just gonna go and loot all the villager houses oh there's a <laughs> why are you s okay villager swimming in oil it's what we love to see let's check out this big building in here that's called the double doors work and okay we got a chest uh, which actually has some food so that's actually incredibly helpful so we can get started pretty nicely a couple of furnaces a bookcase anything through here just a sort of like path area let's go up here anything else more furnaces another chest with even more food so that is very helpful a bunch of levers and stuff a garden which is very nice we're gonna have to definitely check out that watchtower but yeah we got loads of cool cool stuff so far all right what's up here in the uh, top of the house. This looks like some sort of inn. In fact, that's exactly what I think it is. Right, we got some some leather armor. Uh, let's pinch one of these beds so we can have somewhere to sleep. There's a double chest here with a cobweb and five raw pork chops. Well, I'll take the pork chops. I think we'll leave the cobweb. Uh, what about in here? A bow. Nice. 21 bread. Alright, that's got a sword and some potatoes as well. Nice. Let's grab this crafting bench up because you don't know what actually I'm gonna need so far. I'm definitely gonna need like the basics and up here we got the last couple rooms I believe yeah more bread some more potatoes and a book and quilt okay we'll, we'll hold on to that that could be useful I guess and the final room here seems to be like the master master room we've got another bow I won't bother taking that a load more potatoes how many potatoes do we need Could start off a good farm with that relatively quickly and an empty double chest which we'll we'll just take the double chest uh, knowing that that will be incredibly helpful. But uh, yeah, this house has been pretty fruitful for stuff to loot. And oh, we got a bit of lag. There's another couple houses down here to loot for stuff. And there is actually a double chest of that that's kind of hiding. Uh, we'll just take some more potatoes and bread, I guess. I, I mean, we're not short for food. Got some leather boots, so we'll leave them there. And got another house here which a pit with a piston in it. If we go up here, we got another more bread. <laughs> Um, and all oh, this house is actually connected to a different one. That's pretty cool. That is actually really cool. I like that. See, these houses are really... This is what villager houses should be. I know Moyang did update their houses for villagers, but nothing like what these are. Can I get up to a higher elevation, I wonder? Yes, I can. Cool. All right, uh, that's the house we went in. Loads more potatoes and stuff. We won't take any more. We can start our own farm. We'll leave these villagers in peace. We've got a marketplace here. This is looking really nice. We've got some cooked pork shops. Is that... Oh, I've put my chest down now. You know, I really should get some tools. But I want to I want to loot first. We've got a jukebox. We need an axe to do that. Do you reckon that... Yeah, that is currently hard enough. We'll take the jukebox. You never know when that might be needed. That chest got nothing in it. Uh, some melon. We may as well take a bit off to start ourselves a melon farm in the future. Uh, another hidden chest. Yes, this is what we wanted. See? Got enough to get a horse, some iron armor, a bit of iron to make some tools as well. That's going really nicely. 
Loads of wood. That's what we want. See, this is why looting first is the best thing to do in a Minecraft world. Because you just skip a load of the early game stuff by looting so much wood. Oh my gosh. Like, were we able to build a small house before even doing anything? Right, let's put some of this stuff away so we can keep looting. Got a couple more market stalls here. Uh, definitely more stuff to explore over there. But I wanna, I'm intrigued by this house. Just in the hill. Um, oh, we've got form craft in here. Hold it. Oh. Uh, your fingers tingle strangely as you handle the crystal. What does that mean? Maybe some rest will inspire you. Okay, so we need to sleep. Uh, let's get rid of this just two raw fish, I guess. Because that's not really useful. Is there a way in this house? Is there actually anything in the house? No, it just looks like a typical Minecraft uh, butcher house. So we won't go in there. We'll instead go over this side to see what's going on over here. We've got this crop. Got some hops. Which is pretty cool. That's for like making beer and stuff. There's some sort of stone structure over there and a volcano here. Wow. And then this guard tower that I'm really intrigued by. This village has been super cool so far. Let's have a look. So it's got a tree in the middle of it. Uh, loads of stuff down the bottom here. There's no chests though. Nothing like that. Let's go up to the top. Uh, let's actually use these crafting benches and get some basic tools down. So... There we go. A few tools. Um, we want to hold on to these books, so what can I chuck out? Let's chuck out these 27 sticks. You don't need that many sticks. Uh, we've got some beds. I'm guaranteeing there'll probably be some chests at the top. Yes, a double chest. And we got a bunch of arrows to use with our bow, which is really nice. Let's get rid of these two baked potatoes. Um, and we needed some legs, so let's quickly pop on these leather legs. Get... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see what we should actually take. Um, right. Do I need any of this stuff? No. Cool. Right. So this is actually a pretty good vantage point to see what we've got around us. We've got a really cool forest here full of custom looking trees. A beehive down there. Some forestry bees buzzing around. That weird stone structure over there I want to go and have a look at. Volcano. A mountain with some more villager stuff on it, like a church and stuff, which is really weirdly halfway up the hill. But we'll go check them out in a bit. And yeah, as far as I can see, there's not much else around. So let's go check out this stone structure. Can I just say that the background noises in this are really cool? And should I be worried that this is like a ruin? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Right, so I, fi I figured out we got the hats mod. Oh, that is too good. I've just, oh, that's so good I've chucked my sword everywhere. Oh my goodness, look at him! Oh lord, right, that is very much the thumbnail. I almost don't want to kill him, but I really want the googly eyes. Sorry, sheep. Oh, we got the morph mod as well. Okay, so that means we got the hat mod. Did we get the hat? I don't think we did. Huh. That. So viewing all hats one on one, nothing. Okay. But we got the morph mod, which means I can now be a sheep. But well, I'm not going to be a sheep because that is bad. But I thought, oh, now I've just killed googly sheep for no reason. What? We didn't get the hat. Well, that's a shame. All right, let's go see what's going on in this build here. Let's have a look. Uh, let's also sleep so we don't get mobs coming out. Come on, let's sleep. There we go. Alright, sleepy time. What did we pick up? Strange dreams. Oh, that was from the Thorncraft when it said to get some rest. Right, uh, let's chuck out uh, some... I don't know. Pumpkin pie, go away. Right, let's have a look at these strange dreams. I had the strangest dream last night. In the dream, I took three of those strange crystals I've been finding and ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. Crystals had to be of different types, but I did... But if I did see it properly, the result would be strange glowing dust. In the dream, I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase. But before the dream had, but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder should I do what the dream showed? I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous but dangerous. I'm assuming that's how you make the Thormonomicon in this version of Thormcraft, and I'm not actually going to go into Thormcraft yet, so I'm not going to do that. 
put it bluntly. Right, let's actually explore this ruined building. This is really cool. So we've got some random red wool. Uh, and we've fallen into cobweb. No, thank you. So is there going to be loot in here or what? We've got some more crystals, some beds, sort of thing. Is there chests anywhere? We've got loads of crystals everywhere. Um, there doesn't seem to be actually too much here. All right, can we go up to the top bit here? I'm assuming we can, because, but it's blocked off. So there might be something up here, but it's just like crumbled in on itself. Either way, it's really cool. Alright, let's have a look. Yes, there is. There's a chest, but we need to <laughs> somehow get ourselves up here. Alright, hello. There's a chest. Uh, we got 80 flames. I'm going to have a read of that. I'll put my strange dreams in there. I don't actually need that. 80 flames. In fondness, really soft like balance. Linger, lower, linger. Rest coldly like a cold under cheek balance. Linger, lower, linger. These flames I once gathered. What? That was interesting. <laughs> um, okay. Is there anything up the top there? Yes, we've made the Stone Age after making the Iron Age. No, there's nothing up there apart from nothing. So, let's go back down and continue to explore the place. So, it's a big, like, abandoned castle, essentially. It's looking pretty cool. There's something over here. I'm assuming there's something around this side in here. Let's break our way in. Hello, hello. We got a cooking furnace, which is interesting. Um, something here, just some bricks by the looks of it. Yeah, some bricks. Some bookcases. Nothing too interesting. Right, let's use these vines to get back out, if we can. Do some epic part. It's not working. Uh, let's just use. Come on, no. Right, well, we're going to have to get out a different way. <laughs> Let's parkour our way up this side. And Right, is there anything else to this building I haven't looked at yet? So I've been in that corner, I've been all over it. I think that was it, so... Yeah, that was pretty cool. We've got an oil spill there. Yeah, this place is looking really nice. Right, let's go up the hill. So I think this might have been a colossal waste of time because there's nothing in this house. And I don't think there is anything in Minecraft churches, so yeah, that was a bit of a waste of time trying to get up this hill, but there is something going on down there. Thank you for starting a backup. Let's have a look. Let's get to the top of the hill for a good vantage point and have a look at what we have around about. I want the turtle in a hat. Alright, will you give us the hat this time? Oh, we got a bit of frame rate lag. Oh, we did, apparently. Oh, and we got this hat. I don't know where we got that from. But we got the turtle hat. Yes. Incredible. Right. We got the hat. That's all I wanted. What are you? It's an owl. Hello, owl. Why is there just an owl up here? That's interesting. And a chicken. Right. What do we have? That... Oh, my God. This chicken's a Lego man. I want the hat. I'm sorry. If I ever see a thing with a hat, I want it. Unless I've already got it, in which case we'll try and capture them, I guess. Right, let's have a bit of an explore on top of this hill. See if we can see any cool areas to set up shop. So, I may have not been recording. And I may have fallen into a uh, lava lava hole. So, I wish I had been recording. But, oh well. I have kid myself back up a little bit. But we lost everything we looted from that village. But I came back in this birch forest, which was near the other village, and came over this way just to continue exploring. And I found another village. So we should hopefully be able to loot ourselves pretty nicely back up. Hopefully, this village is as good as the last one. Who are that is a shady merchant. And he literally sells a katana. Alright, I'm just gonna... Bye-bye. He's on the very outskirts of the village as well. That was interesting. But... There's a sheep with a hat. Um, yeah, so... That was unfortunate that we had to die. But it doesn't matter. Got more of these houses to loot. This is cool. There's a windmill. And a tower. And this tower looks... Interesting. Interesting. To say the least. Is there anything in it? 
not up, but it might be going down. This... Oh, mm, this seems like some sort of dungeon that I'm definitely not ready to do. I hear mobs. I'm going to come back to this dungeon, I think. I don't want to risk death again. So I think I'll just stick to raiding the village. All right, let's have a look in this windmill here. So we got a bunch of furnaces. We've already got one. And a load of chests up here. So we've got some hay. An iron hoe. You never know when that will come in useful. Some more hay. In fact, we'll take all of this wheat to make bread out of. In fact, there's a lot of wheat there. So we'll make a good, decent amount of bread. Um, this windmill is looking pretty cool. Is there more stuff to pillage up here? Uh, not as of yet. What about up here? There seems to be more wheat. I mean, what can you expect? It's a windmill. And more wheat. And some leather pants, which is quite nice. And another bow. So we'll hold on to that. But I think that's all this windmill may have to offer. Unless I go through these doors. Some wheat out here, of course. Oh, look, some more wheat. So this windmill was very lucrative for wheat at least so yeah let's pop out the front of this windmill and head over to this marketplace because that was pretty good last time the marketplace all right what do we have here this time we've got food that is the main thing we want melon a jukebox we can get our jukebox back and our melon so that means we can start the same farms we had before and we got some boots and a pick this time we're not going to take both pairs of boots we're going to take the one is there any chest hidden under the melon or anything? No. Got a villager. Do you trade anything? Oh! Mistcraft. That's interesting. I've used that mod before. It's very, very cool. Right, let's take a fair bit of wood, but not a massive amount, because we don't want to fill our inventory with wood. But let's take a bunch of the spruce and oak. We'll leave the birch, because, let's be honest, we'll take a stack of birch, but who honestly can say they like birch wood that much as to take it? Got some llamas going on. Is that a hat on the back of a llama? That is a hat on the back of a llama. That is cool. <laughs> that hats are worn on the back of the llamas. It's interesting. But we got some interesting houses here that we have not seen before. Of course, we got a librarian. Standard of any Minecraft village. And we got another one, actually. It's interesting. Uh, we got these houses here. This We got a blacksmith. So hopefully we can get some cool stuff. Yes, we do. Right, we got a steel pickaxe, nice, a vibrant alloy ingot, a found capacitor, some iridium shards, some infinity biometal gear, wooden gear, stone, compound gear, I'm assuming we can make these gears, um, relatively, yeah we can, look, they're easy to make, what about the bimetal, oh, that looks uh, difficult to get, actually, grains of infinity, is like bedrock on fire? Well, we'll hold on to that. That could be interesting. Ferociously technical. Yeah, it sounds it. <laughs> what about in here? Yeah, no, nothing in here apart from another shady merchant. Just eight emeralds to a block of emeralds. So he just gives us an emerald for free, essentially. Right, that can't be very lucrative. That's a normal butcher's house. We've got some more houses up that end as well. Another butcher's house. Another couple crops, a Fletcher, and an empty house. To be fair, we might set up in a village house if we can't find anywhere else too lucrative. Because it's been an interesting episode and we've already died once, so... This house is very interesting. Oh, it's like a honey house. We've got some unlit candles. Oh, so this is like an apiary. So if we ever wanted to get into bees, then we definitely could with this strangely colored house. And then we've got a big build here to have a look in. Is this another windmill that'll just have tons of stuff? So we've got more potatoes, so we can do our potato farm. That is good. Um, we need actually a chest plate and a helmet, so we'll just put that stuff in there for now, put them on and take it back. What do we have in here? More potatoes, a lot of fish, some arrows. That's useful. Um, we should take this pork to make into food. We'll hold on to the bread. Uh, let's ditch the stone pickaxe because we've now got some better ones. So let's put the iron pickaxe down. We've got an iron and a steel pickaxe. Steel pickaxe is slightly better. So we may ditch the iron one as well. 
but it's good to have multiple pickaxes as we're going we got some bread we actually need a bed so let's chuck out um what should we chuck out let's check out the crafting table we can make another one god this is inventory inventory management 101 with toby Right, we've got a nice bottom bit of this house as well, to be fair. But I think that's about it. We've got a load of entropy shards on the side of it as well. Wow. But is that all we have to offer in this? What is that? Is that just a huge hill? That looks incredibly interesting. What? Alright, I'm going to get closer. Oh! <laughs> what a way to start off a clip, eh? Um, holy crap. That is... A mountain and a half. All of this stuff is... I'm loving this area. That is oh, epically cool. Alright, we can play The Sims now. Is that a fossil? This... I'm going to take all these hats, by the way. I don't care. Right. This is a fossil. What? That is super cool. God, this modded, this modded Let's Play is really cool. And that is something to loot up there, as is that by the looks of it. But before we get on to more looting, we're going to have to our empty our empty. <laughs> I love these hats. They're so good. Well, they, that's definitely something to raid up there. But that is a really cool mountain. As is that one up there. Right, we've got some cool places to explore. We've got a meteorite. Right, this this is a cool area. And there is this house down here, which we'll have a look at. Let's have a peek. There is not much in here but a chest with, full of cobwebs. And just a little, little place. But this is certainly very interesting. Okay, that is just a big mountain. So I've made my way up to this thing that we saw from down over by the house, which is way down there. But I'm interested to see what it is. It seems to be a, a graveyard, which is not creepy at all. Um, okay, so we found a graveyard. And... There is some loot over here that I saw. Not much. I mean, cobwebs and rotting flesh. I mean, what, what did I expect? What is this? It's just a lever. Does it do anything? No? Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, I think, guys, that is all we've got time for today. This has been a very promising start to a modded series. And I think between episodes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some resources together, go go do a little bit of mining, uh, settle down in probably like a villager house or uh, a small structure that I can find somewhere, just so I don't have to build right off the bat before I get some resources set up. And then next episode, we can start working on our first piece of modded stuff. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft the 1.12.2 pack. I really hope you have enjoyed. Of course, links to all of the music and the mod pack in the description below. And please, let me know in the comments if this is a series you're excited for, because I'm really excited to get it started. So thank you for watching. I've been Toby, and I'll see you in the next one.